it's Mike Myers from Security 101, and this week I want to talk about email attachments. So we all get email attachments all the time, especially from family that are things like pictures and stuff like that. What you want to be careful of, though, are the ones that are EXEs or zip files. And especially from somebody you don't know, nobody that you should send you something that's an EXE or a zip file that you do not know. In fact, if it, they, somebody does send you something, the delete key is really quick and easy to hit and make sure you do that because an EXE or a zip file can contain malware. And that's how most of the scams these days are getting are infecting people. In fact, the most recent one was the FedEx during Christmas time, uh, these FedEx emails saying you have a package to be delivered and they were sending you either an EXE or a zip. And people were thinking like, well, I have something coming or anyway, maybe I have somebody sending something for Christmas. And they go and they click on it and that immediately infects them. At that point, your host, <laughs> you need to go through and disinfect yourself. And some of those were pretty nasty. And sometimes the only way you can get those clean is actually to re-image your machine. In that process, you can lose data as well. So just be very cautious. Most companies these days do not allow you to uh, send EXE. So if, you, if your work email, you try to send yourself an EXE, it may get deleted. Because that's just the standard practice these days is EXEs don't, aren't allowed. In fact, many companies don't allow you to send around um, different types of documents that could be uh, like that as well, including uh, scripts and things like that. They look for types of emails that can be exploited. Zip files, if you're sending something, you want to send an EXE to somebody, the best thing to do is zip it and put a password on it because emails, email systems cannot get into a password protected zip, lets it pass. However, you got to remember that as well because that means that it's not protecting you either. So if you get a password protected zip from somebody, make sure you trust them before you open it. So rule or Tip of the week is just be careful what you open as an email attachment because a lot of things are bad. Um, make sure you know the person who's sending it to you. Never open an EXE. Just rule of thumb, never open an EXE. That's it for Security 101 this week. We'll see you next week.